Hello guys, welcome to another wonderful section of learning with PrepFlas. I am Usman Rudin, a PrepFlas tutor. Now today we are going to continue our solving from Hugo Silgo Mathematics Past Question. Before we go, I hope you have been finding our video very interesting and engaging. I hope you've learned one or two from us. So always leave down your comments in the comment section to tell us how you feel about our videos. In today's video, we are going to be solving questions 21 to 25. If you have been following us, we've solved questions from the said Hugo Silgo Mathematics Past Question. We've solved from question 1 to 20. Now we have to push forward by solving 21 to 25. So let's start for today's learning. Remember to put down your comments in the comment section. Also, like this video. Okay? Thank you very much. As you do that, then let's start today's learning. We have question number 21 here. Now, the essence of this video is to guide you on how to solve questions. So please pay close attention to what we are doing here. And I know learning is going to be very easy for you. So let's start the question. Question number 21. V plus 18 equals 62. Find the value of V. We have the options. A, 44. B, 62. C, 54. D, 80, E, 45. Now, let me tell you what you need to know about this question. This is a question under algebraic equation. I know you know what algebraic equations are. These are the type of equation that involves an unknown. So the unknown here is V. So it means we have to find the value of V. Now, how do we solve this kind of question? Very simple. So, let's solve it. When you have this kind of question, V plus 18 equals 62. This question has been simplified. Now, from here, we have to solve further. The first thing we do here is to collect like terms. V is the only alphabet here. 18 and 62, they are both numbers. So it means 18 and 62, we go together. So we have V on the left-hand side of the equation equals 62, which is on the right side. 18 is on the left side. It is positive. So it will cross over and it will change to negative. So we have minus 18. Now the next thing is, what is 62 minus 18? That is giving us 44. So if you subtract 18 from 62, you are going to have 44. So this means that V equals 44 is our answer. That is, the value of V is 44. That is quite straightforward. I hope you understand the logic we just used here. Just take note of what you're looking for, which is V here. Collect light terms. If there's any other V, you bring it together with the V you have. But here, V is appearing just once. So we collect light terms by taking the numbers to one side of the equation, then V will remain on one side. And now we've gotten V to be equals to 44. Looking at the option, the correct answer is option A, 44. Now, you can see how simple mathematics is. So when you want to solve a question, you don't need to panic. Just calm down, solve and get your answer. Very easy. So let's move to the next question. Question number 22. Find the cost of 40 books at 5 for 8 cover. We have the options. 1 Nera 60 cover. 25 cover. 46 cobble, 64 cobble, 6 nera, 40 cobble. The question, 
find the cost of 40 books at 5 for 8 cover. Now we have to find the cost. How much are we going to buy 40 books? If we have to buy 5 of those books for 8 cover. Very, very simple. What we just need to do is to perform simple mathematics operation here. If cost of 5 books is 8 cover, how much are we going to buy one? That is, if you are buying 5 books for 8 cover, how much will be the cost of a book? That is, we are going to divide the cost of the books. To get that, we are going to divide the cost of the 5 books by the 5 books. So that is, the cost of 5 books is 8 cover. So it means the cost of one book will be 8 cover divided by 5. And that is giving us 8 over 5 cover to be the cost of a book. So if one book is 8 over 5 cobo, what would be the cost of 40 books? So to get the cost of 40 books, we have to multiply 40 books multiplied by the cost of a book. And this is giving us 40 times 8 over 5 cobo. What do we do here next? We say 5 here is 1. 5 in 40, that is 8. Now we have 8 times 8, cover. When we multiply 8 by 8, we are going to get 64. So we have 64, cover, to be the cost of 40 books. The correct option is option D, 64, cover. So, you can see that mathematics is very simple and interesting. The next question we have here is question number 23. Express 50 as a decimal of 200. A, 0 0.25. B, 0 0.005. C, 0 0.05. D, 0 0.51. E, 50.0. So the question says, express 50 as a decimal of 200. So how can we do this? Expressing 50 as a decimal of 200 means 50 divided by 200. Now, when we say 50 divided by 200, it is easy to note that 10 can cancel 10 here and we'll be left with 5 divided by 20. Okay? Now, 5 divided by 20 is a fraction. We need to convert it to a decimal fraction. Now, we divide following long division method. So we have 5 divided by 20. So we start dividing. How many 20 can we see in 5? That's 0. Or we say that's impossible. So impossible means you are going to write 0. So 20 cannot go in 5, so that will be 0. We put a point and we add 0 to this 5 because there is no 0 here before. But we are adding a 0 to the 5 to make it 50. So we can further divide. How many 20 can we see in 50? That is 2. Because 20 times 2 will give us 40. So we have 2. Now 20 multiplied by 2 will give us 40. So we subtract. 50 minus 40. That is giving us 10. What is the next thing? Can 20 go in 10 again? No. So what do we do? We add 0 to this 10, which will make it 100. Now, how many 20 can we see in 100? That is 5. And here, there is no remainder. So because there is no remainder, it means we've gotten the final answer. And that is giving us 0 0.25. So this means 50 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.25. So expressing 50 as a decimal of 200 is 0 0.25. And the correct option is option A, 0 0.25. So fractions can be converted to decimal and vice versa. That is how you perform such mathematics. So now, we move to the next question. I hope you're following. So, the next question, question number 24. 
Some mangoes were shared between Ada and Chika in the ratio of 3 ratio 5, respectively. If Ada's share was 120, how many mangoes were shared between them? A. 420 B. 320 C. 200 D. 120 E. 220 This is a word problem question. We are going to convert the word problems into actual mathematical figures. Now, ratio from the question is 3 ratio 5. That is, Ada ratio Chica. Now, Ada's ratio from the question, because we have 3 ratio 5. So, Ada is the first. So, Ada is having the ratio 3. Chica is having the ratio 5. Now, we have the total ratio 3 plus 5. That is giving us 8 to be the total ratio. That is the first part of converting the word problem into mathematical figures. So, we have the Ada's ratio, Chica's ratio, and total ratio. Now, we have to find how many mangoes were shared. Let the total mango share equals x. Now, we have Ada's share equals 120. So, from Ada's share, we can get the total mango share. Ada's share is equal to Ada's ratio divided by total ratio multiplied by total mango share. This is the formula we are going to use to calculate the total mango share. Now, we are given that Ada's share is 120 mangoes. This is equal to Ada's ratio is 3, divided by the total ratio, which is 8, multiplied by the total mango share, which we assumed to be x. Now, from here, we have to find the value of x. 3 can multiply x here to give us 3x. So we have 120 equals 3x divided by 8. At this point, the next thing to do is to cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we are going to be having 120 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 3x. Now, to get the value of x, we simply divide both sides by 3. Now, when we divide both sides by 3, we have 120 multiplied by 8 divided by 3 equals 3x divided by 3. We can divide. 3 here is 1. How many 3 can we see in 120? We start by saying 3 in 12, that is 4. 3 in 0, 0. So, therefore, 3 in 120 is 40. Multiplied by 8 equals 3 can cancel 3. So we have 40 times 8 equals x. Now x is equals to 40 times 8, that is 320. So this means that the value of x is 320. Therefore, the total mango share is 320. You can see how it is to convert word problems into mathematical figures. Remember, it is not difficult. It is very easy. So, the total mango share is 320, and the correct option is option B, 320. I hope that was easy for you to understand. If you have questions you would like to ask, Please put it down in the comment section and we are definitely going to answer your question. Because the aim is for you to understand the concept of solving mathematics and improve your learning skills. Now we move to the next question, question number 25. Decrease 1000 Naira by 10%. A. 900 Naira. B. 10 Naira C. 800 Naira D. 100 Naira E. 50 Naira To decrease 1000 by 10% means we have to first of all find 10% of 1000 
Then because decrease means to subtract or to reduce, that means we are going to remove the percentage from 1,000. So 10% 10 of 1,000 is the same thing as saying 10 over 100 times 1,000 Naira. 10 over 100, we have 0 cancel 0 here, 0 cancel 0 here. So we have 10 times 10 Naira, and that's giving us 100 Naira. So this means that 10% of 1,000 Naira is 100 Naira. So from here, decreasing 1,000 Naira by 10% means 1,000 Naira minus the amount we get when we find the 10% of 1,000 Naira, which is 100 Naira. So here we have 1,000 Naira minus 100 Naira, and that is giving us 900 Naira. And the correct option is option A, 900 Naira, which is the answer we get when we decrease 1,000 Naira by 10%. Remember, before we got that answer, we had to find 10% of 1,000 Naira. Then from 10% 10 of 1,000, we subtracted the value from 1,000 Naira. So that is the end of today's section. I hope learning with us is easy. Please connect with us on WhatsApp, where you can get access to all our tutors. You will also gain the privilege of asking us questions one-on-one. -on -one. Learning with us is going to be very easy and fun. So thank you for your time and have a great day. Bye.